Hi, it's me again with Crow Doll Tips and Tricks. A internet friend of mine sent me this. He's trying to engrave it on a gavel, and you can see it's egg shaped. And that's a common problem. He is, I did find out he's turning a rotor, rotary device. So there are two things wrong with this. One, your wheels are thinking the cylinder is this size, and your cylinder is actually this size. So that shouldn't really change the egg shape, but it's gonna make your logo a little different. So I know he's a woodworker and he's, he's had to do this like two or three times and sand it off. First of all, I would cover it in blue painter tape and just lightly engrave, you know, take a test piece of wood, lay down some tape and uh, see what it looks like. Make sure you don't burn through it. And then you can just peel the tape off and don't have to sand it. So I don't know how much this is going to affect because this is turning and this is going to be turning at a faster rate. But the way to do it, so his, his logo is round. It's a really nice logo. And Jim, for the one I'm doing it for, I removed your white background, which doesn't really matter, but it, it's kind of a pet pee of mine. So a friend of mine helped me write an Excel file. And I will send anybody this file. So his logo is 1.512. The diameter is three inches. So he needs to calculate the logo on the cylinder to 1.58, which doesn't seem like it's enough. Uh, that's why I would use blue Turner tape. I've never seen it because that's not, you know, that's not much more than a half an inch, uh, 0.6 something. So, I would, uh, so get your logo and it's, it's round and it's 0.152. With your ratio on lock, change the width to 1.858467 and hit enter. It doesn't look like it's going to, it changes it enough, but maybe so. So I would definitely, um, one, I know he's a woodworker and he could re, he said if he had to, he could re remake it. I would make these, this is for those wheels of his rotary device to set on. I would make your wheels the whole thing. Matter of fact, if I was gonna turn this, and I'm a turner too, uh, I would start off with a, a round piece of wood, this width, and then I would, you know, maybe sand the middle part and then engrave it as a big round cylinder and then go back in and put it on the lathe and, and do your, he did a really good job of turning these, uh, turning this, and then you could just uh, disallow this part. And, um, but I would definitely try the blue Turner tape or blue, blue masking tape, I Turner tape, but just, you know, wrap it a couple of times or just get it to cover but test it on a piece of wood to see what your laser is going to mark the tape without burning through the wood first. But as you can see, that logo, is, and this, this will help you on anything that's like a tumbler that's cylindrical, not tapered. There's another way to do that. But, and if anybody wants this Excel file, I'll be more than happy to send it to you. It's a pretty cool and pretty easy. I mean, all you have to do is put in a couple of numbers and, um, it's called logo uh, protected by cylinder. So let's say is, let's change this to like, let's say as a uh, logo is two inches. So now I need to make it 2.18 if the diameter, so you put in the diameter of the circumference. So if it was two, so we're only changing it 0.18, but I've tested this many times and it, and it uh, comes out exactly. Another thing, I've done a lot of, and I'll take just a flat piece of paper and take a circle and just make it that, that would both be to no end to fill, have a fill, fill it in every time. So let's make it with a ratio, well, let's don't lock it. Let's make that that 1.58467 by one point. 512, I think it was. And then cut that out. Cut that out of just a piece of paper 
and just stick it on there. Let me just, and see if it doesn't, you know, use uh, some sort of clear tape and stick it on there and see if that doesn't look round on your cylinder. You did a really good job on the logo. I like it. It's sharp. Anyway, I hope that helped him and help somebody someday. And thank you for watching.